Aruba Orchestrator provides orchestrated end-to-end integration for many third-party service providers, such as Zscaler and Azure Virtual WAN. While it is not possible to provide orchestrated integration with all third-party service providers or service providers that do not have the required API, the service orchestration feature allows you to automate the orchestrator side of the integration including the creation and lifecycle management of IPSLA probes and IPSec tunnels. In this video, we'll use the service orchestration feature to integrate with Netscope. We will configure remote endpoints, select primary and backup interface labels, configure tunnel settings, enable IPSLA, associate Edge Connect appliances with remote endpoints, and finally, walk through the process of adding IC IDs to Netscope. Just a couple notes before we begin. You can use the service orchestration feature with any provider that uses IPsec IcV2 endpoints. You must have loopback interfaces configured. Loopback interfaces provide a stable and consistent source IP address for use in IPSLA probes. And finally, You'll need the following information for each endpoint you want to add. The probe address is the endpoint that the IPSLA subsystem will ping to determine service availability. If in doubt, you can use Silverpeak's probe address. We'll step through each task on the Service Orchestration tab to complete the integration. First, navigate to Service Orchestration. Notice that the Netscope tab is pre-configured and Orchestrator assigned a prefix of NSK to Netscope. When you add a new service, you'll assign a unique prefix to that service. Orchestrator uses this prefix to name tunnels and IPSLAs. This prefix is also used to filter the tunnels list. The next step is to add endpoints. You can add one endpoint at a time, or add endpoints in bulk by importing the information from a CSV file. In this video, we'll step through adding one endpoint. You can also use the export button to make bulk edits to the table. To configure a remote endpoint, enter the name and IP address of the provider's endpoint and a probe address. It's important to note that if an endpoint name or IP address is decommissioned or modified, the tunnel will go down. Let's use the interface label default of any. Orchestrator will only provision endpoints with the label you specify here. By selecting any, you ensure that all endpoints, no matter what their label is, will be provisioned. We'll specify a primary and backup label later in this video. We'll also use the pre-shared key or PSK default option to create and save a pre-shared key. Every endpoint will use this pre-shared key. This won't compromise security because traffic going to these endpoints is encrypted. The final step to configure this endpoint is to select a backup tunnel. Locate another endpoint in the list that is geographically close to the endpoint you are creating. Once your endpoints are created, you'll need to select the primary and backup interface labels for your traffic. The backup interface labels will be used if the primary interface labels are unreachable. In this demo, we will set INET1 as the primary label and INET2 as the backup label. Your configuration may vary. Now set the necessary tunnel settings. We'll accept the default values. The default values follow best practices for Netscope's integration. Other service providers might require you to modify the tunnel settings. And then enable IPSLA. If all fields are dimmed, click here. 
Select the type of mode you want, HTTP, HTTPS, or ping. Next, enter the endpoint that the IP SLA subsystem will ping. You can obtain this from the third-party service provider or use Silverpeak's probe address, as shown here. And then, select the interface that you previously created on the Loopback Orchestration tab. The final step to complete the integration on the orchestrator side is to associate Edge Connect appliances with the new remote endpoints. We associated one appliance with an endpoint. After you have associated the required appliances with the new endpoints, the service orchestration is complete. Now you must add the local tunnel identifiers, or IC IDs, to the third-party service provider. To simplify this process, copy or export the configuration details, log in to Netscope or your third-party service provider, navigate to Settings, Security Cloud Platform, Traffic Steering, IPsec, and replace the appropriate values with the corresponding IC IDs created by Orchestrator. Deployment begins immediately. To verify that the integration was successful, navigate to the Netscope tab and confirm the status of the connections. In this video, we showed you how to use the Service Orchestration feature to integrate with Netscope, a third-party provider. We configured a remote endpoint, selected primary and backup interface labels, configured the tunnel settings, enabled IPSLA, associated an Edge Connect appliance with a remote endpoint, and we also walked through the process of adding the local tunnel identifiers, or IC IDs, to Netscope. You can apply this same procedure to other third-party service providers. Thank you for watching. <laughs>